Hi, this is Ilma Art Studio Photograph for today. That is a pond uh, with the houses in the background, uh, which are all framed with two trees uh, in the foreground. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more of my photographs and artworks. Uh, it's a rainy day in Orangeville today, and I'd like to share with you today my poem devotional, which is uh, based on Psalm 42, verses 4, and uh, a bit of verse 4 and 5. My heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise Him again, my Savior and my God. And here is my poem uh, regarding that uh, verse. Is your heart broken and sad? I'm sorry, the title is Remedy to Sadness and Discouragement. Is your heart broken and sad? Pray to God so you will be glad. Allow Him to hear your, th your hurts and pain. Then praise Him for His mighty name. Put your hope in God despite adversities. Even if you can't see a glimpse of hope in your difficulties. Don't listen to the enemy's lies and deception. Let your lips release God's word to fight temptations. And here is uh, my essay part. Do you get days when you just feel sad, lonely, or discouraged? Sometimes a situation or a medical condition can bring someone down. It could probably be because you're not getting enough rest or nutrition. Maybe someone has let you down or didn't live up to your expectations. The psalmist in Psalm 42 gives us a remedy to sadness and discouragement. He poured out his brokenness to the Lord and chose to put his hope in God. He also praised God and called his name as his Savior and God. Worship and praise remedies these feelings. We have the choice to choose to live beyond our feelings and praise God. Prayer, Lord, replace my negative feelings with your truth. Reflection, why do you think praise stops sadness? And that is the end of the essay. I just like to give a quick um, testimony to to this uh, because there was a time that I was really so down and depressed. And um, um, my my friend Stella, who is a pastor, told me to just soak in God's word, especially through worship and praise music. So. I did that and it literally, literally changed um, my my feelings. So sometimes our feelings are, you know, not are not always true. Sometimes it lies to us because sometimes our feelings are based on experiences we had before and um, we react to something based on something that we that has happened to us. And sometimes it comes in filters and sometimes when something similar happens it um, it triggers a certain emotion in our in, in our in ourselves so if um, what I did this past uh, years is that I tried to memorize God's Word and through the, my poem devotionals daily I would be able to memorize the verses after I write it down and it kind of helped me that every time I feel down or sad whether it's a uh, its medical condition or whether it is just you know just something that happened um, I really feel a little different after I soak in his word and praise him sometimes it's not always all about us if, if we if we if we focus our attention on God instead of our situation then it will surely change the way we think or feel thanks for watching and check my website at ilmaarts.com and uh, till next uh, Palm Devotional tomorrow, God bless.